you can get the most from your sewing patterns by hacking them or by doing what I like to do and taking the design features from one pattern and adding them to another. I'm currently working on McCall's 8149 View A which is this skirt here and I decided that I wanted to add cargo pockets to the front of the skirt so I'm using No Me 2054 and I'm taking this pocket here and the flap and I'm adding it to the front of the skirt. These pants also have a loop in the front and then it has a tie that goes through the loop. I took the loop pattern piece which is what the D rings will go through. I took this loop piece and I added it to the flap of the cargo pocket. So you can see that here and then the D rings are already attached and then I took the tie that goes through the D rings and it was kind of long so I cut it in half and I'm going to use one half for each pocket and then I'm going to just take this tie and thread it through the D rings. And it will look something like this when it's all done. So I did sew the flap together. I just need to trim it and flip it over to the right side. So you take your loop piece that you cut out. It looks something like this. And then you fold it in half. And then you stitch down this side here. Once you stitch that, you're going to have something that looks like this. You trim the edge and then you flip this inside out. So I use the safety pin and I just pinned it to the side. I thread the safety pin all the way through until I was able to pull it from the opposite side and flip the loop inside out. Then I had something that looked like this. So then you take your D rings and you Put the loop through the D-rings, fold the loop over, and baste. Then this is the pocket flap. So I folded the pocket flap in half so that I can figure out where the center was or is. And then I got a little crease there. And then I just took the D-ring and I placed it over this center crease like this. And then you baste that down. With right sides together, you take the other flat piece and place it over the D-rings and then you stitch this area closed and then that's how you get the D-ring inside of the pocket flap. I think that's so cute. You can see here that view A doesn't have any pockets but I wanted some back pockets on mine so I did go ahead and add back pockets to the skirt. Now I'm going to put on the waistband and then I'm also going to add a black zipper down the front. They have the zipper pull, this section right here on the left front of the skirt. That's this part right here. I put my zipper pull on the right front of the skirt. I was looking at the picture and they have the teeth of the zipper facing the skirt. The teeth of the zipper facing the skirt. And in order for me to get my teeth to face the skirt, I just had to reverse the positioning of the zipper. So where they have this part over here on this side and this part over here on this side, I just reversed it. The zipper is basted in the skirt right now and then I'm going to go ahead and put the other half of the waistband on the skirt and then once I hem it, the skirt will be all done.
I am actually sitting outside of a grocery store, but I wanted to mention a couple things about the skirt that I forgot to mention. So first, the pattern is rated as average. Also, I have made view B before, so I will put a link to that video if you're interested in seeing that. I will also put a link to this top, which is actually a bodysuit. So this is the top that I'm wearing with the skirt, so I will put a link to that. Now, when I looked at view A on the pattern envelope, I thought the skirt looked really short. However, after making the skirt, I am really happy with the length. I didn't add any length or anything, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I really like the separating zipper that's in the skirt. However, I kind of wish that the zipper pull was on the bottom so that I could pull the zipper up slightly and then have a little split at the bottom of the skirt. I think that would be really cute. So if I ever make view A again, I think I would definitely get a two-way separating zipper and that way I will have a zipper pull at the bottom and a zipper pull at the top. My husband and I are going out shopping and this is my outfit of the day. These are Nomi 2054, the pants. And I paired the pants with a black bodysuit and this denim jacket that I thrifted years ago. I actually bought myself a pair of pants. I really love the color of these pants and I got them from The Gap. And they're corduroy.